Suppose you're here, but you don't have a body. Whether this satsang is two hours or two millennia, would it matter to you? Only because you have a body, two hours <laughs> happen. If you did not have a body, this were two thousand years, what's the problem? So only because of your physicality, time exists, isn't it? Hmm? Only because you have a physical structure, time exists in your experience. If there was no physical body, what is time to you? The same goes for space also. If you had no body, what size dress would you need? <laughs> Minus <laughs> Only because there's a body, space, isn't it? If you did not have a body, how many people could we have for satsang in this hall? Is there a limit, I'm asking? No. So only because you're identified with your physical nature, time and space is a reality for you. Otherwise, both wouldn't exist. So, is it a concept? It is not a concept, it is a reality of the existence. Can we experience it? Anything that's real can be experienced. Even falsehood can be experienced, you know this? It's happening. <laughs> in so many ways it's happening, isn't it? Things which are not true are true in your mind. There's a classic example. In the yogic, <laughs> this thing in the Yoga Sutras himself, Patanjali himself uses the example. Suppose we take a rope and throw it on you and say, snake. Suddenly, everything that would happen to you if a snake had landed upon you will happen to you, though it is just an inanimate rope. You may even die of a heart attack. Yes. Even falsehood, that which does not exist, you can experience. Such is the beauty of creation. Even that which does not exist, you can experience. Why would you be denied the ability to experience that which does exist? You definitely can. It is just that you have to disengage a little bit from your personal entertainment. That is, that which does not exist is dominating right now. Things that don't exist in the universe are happening in your mind and they're going about as if it's a reality. It's just badly made movies which are going on, that's all. What's happening in your mind is just bad cinema, isn't it? Not well directed. <laughs> so, because of your engagement with that, you… this question comes up, can we experience reality? Reality is the only thing you can experience, isn't it? But creation is so generous, it is willing to allow you to experience even that which does not exist. Fantastic, isn't it? 